I haven't seen Toma in a while. Who knows what that guy's working on these days? <laughs> Probably something of the utmost importance, as ever. Taking guests out for lavish meals, cleaning up around the house, the usual. We have people like that to thank for the decline of the samurai spirit in this day and age. What? Also, I heard he's Mondstadt, born and bred. Just saying. If a little private gossiping helps them let off some steam, well, good for them. It does no harm to the Kamisato clan. It's almost too nice, dude. <laughs> <laughs> there are tons of stray cats and dogs here at the outskirts. Every time I come to Kamori Tea House, I bring some food for them. It just sort of became a tradition over time. At first, it was a bit of a chore, but the more time I spent with them, the more I came to enjoy it. It seems like they like you. You think so? Well, feed them enough times, and I'm sure you'll win their affection too. Oh, I wish I could, but you know, a certain company decided that it's not that important to feed the random dogs and cats. Here, doggy. Aww. Good doggy. You hungry, my friend? I brought you a nice little snack. Aww. Oh, you're a vicious little thing, aren't you? You almost bit me again. Look at you, wasting away. You must want to eat a little something. You're not worried it's poisoned, are you? Here, I'll take the first bite. Aww. Mm. See? Delicious and poison-free. <laughs> you think he was attacked by monsters? Hmm. It's possible. People do tend to lose their appetite in dangerous situations. Maybe it's the same for dogs, too. Let's clear out the area on behalf of our canine companion here. How dare you hit the dog? <laughs> Die. Here, doggy. Look, no more danger. You've got to want to eat a little something now. Come on, eat up. Then let's get you back to Komori Tea House. Whatever's on your mind, you can tell me and Tarumaru all about it. Aww. Aww. <sighs> well, to me, this proves that it simply doesn't want to leave this place. For now, let's not force it. Time to head back to the Yashiro Commission headquarters. I'll see if I can find its owner, so they can come and collect it. It's okay, buddy. We'll come back for you. I promise. Hey, Inu Shosho? <laughs> You're waiting for your master to come home, aren't you? Mind if we wait with you? Don't worry, we're not looking to suddenly whisk you away. Uh, look at this. Do you know what it is? Oh. <laughs> As I thought, you remember. Excellent. It looks like what he needed wasn't for us to take him away, but for us to accompany him. <sighs> you know, I sometimes did this too when I first arrived in Inazuma. I just stood on the beach, looking out at the horizon. Everyone has people and events from their past that they look back on fondly. I guess we only grow when we realize that those things aren't coming back. Bruh. From today onward, we will join you in honoring his memory. <laughs> I think that means deal, right? It's a deal. Maybe we could build a little kennel for him. In the long term, being out in the cold and wet like this could start to cause joint problems. I could make some winter clothes for him, too. In fact, I'd better get started. Oh my god. Ah. Back to our other animal friends. Now that the weather's getting colder, I'm wondering whether I should knit some sweaters for these strays. I decided to take shelter under a tree and found a stray dog sitting there who had the same idea as me. It saw me and moved a little further in, like it was trying to make room for me. So we sat there together, I shared my onigiri with it, stone cold by this point, uh, but still edible, and we ended up huddling together, waiting for the rain to stop. Uh, oh, so sleepy. Did he, did he stay up all night making those? I had some things I needed to do, so I ended up burning the midnight oil to get those sweaters knitted. Uh, of course he did. I wonder if they'll actually suit them though. This one's for Petal. Oh, and uh, this oh, one's for Darko. He gave them and names. And this one's for Goldilocks. <laughs> He gave the names. You know, if you take one day at a time and be kind to the world, good things will come your way eventually. Eventually. That might sound a bit naive, but I really do believe it. At least, it seems to have worked for me, you know? <laughs> uh. Oh, oh my god, that's so cute! Aww. Welcome! It must have been a while since you were last here. Uh, since it's about time to eat, I couldn't resist whipping up a little something for us. So, please, help yourself. 
I hope you enjoy it. Mm, yummy. And <laughs> mm. I can't claim to compete with the likes of Uyu Restaurant Chef, but I think I did all right. When you're out adventuring on your own, you've got to maintain your quality of life. Take your cape, for example. I definitely see one or two loose threads there. Really? If you ignore them, sooner or later the whole seam is going to come undone. And then you'll have a really tough time mending it. Let me sew it up for you later. I'm pretty handy with the needle and thread. Okay. Speaking of housekeeping, I can say with confidence that you won't find anyone as handy around the home as I am. True. Cleaning, cooking, and mending are among my greatest strengths. <laughs> you can always feel free to hand me jobs like this. I'm Toma, the housekeeper for the Ashiro Commission. We're looking to start a housekeeping class at the Commission headquarters. I was just wondering whether that might be something that interests you. Housekeeping? As a class? That's right, yes. We'll be teaching a whole bunch of handy housework tips and tricks. Sweeping, mopping, laundry, cookery, you know, that sort of thing. All based on my years of experience as a housekeeper. Basically, everything you need to be an adult. The class is free, of course. The only cost to you is the materials used during the class. Um, what do you think? Yes. I think this is suspiciously coincidental. Yes. But I have a question. Is this class restricted to women only? Oh, not at all. It's open to people of all genders and ages. The way I see it, housework comprises an essential set of skills that no one could afford to be without. True. You've got to know how to look after yourself. Life should come before work, don't you think? Well said. In that case, I'll bring my husband along. There we go. Sounds like he could learn a thing or two from you. <laughs> if you can't look after yourself properly, that burden ends up being shouldered by your partner. This, in turn, will start to take a toll upon the relationship with... Um... Huh? What are you doing here? Huh? Oh. Oh, these dudes? Oh, hey, they actually came. What the... What? Huh? I brought them. Didn't you say men can study housekeeping too? Oh, Wipe they're the look off your face. Aren't you going to greet the teacher? <laughs> no, it's I, I Darling. Hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> hello, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello and welcome. Now that you're here, I expect you to pay attention and work hard. Uh -huh. To keep up with housework on an ongoing basis, you either have to love everything about it or you need a few tricks up your sleeve to make things easier. So, for today's topic, we're going to focus on how to make light work of housework. So far, so good. Um, excuse me, you over there, focus, please. I like to see active what? engagement in my uh lessons. <laughs> that is, unless some of you are looking to stay behind after class to catch up. Okay, my bad. Oh, there we go. Why don't you do a big spring clean of the commission itself? It would be a great way to showcase your methods. I like Furuta's suggestion, and it's not like we have a better idea anyway. True. In which case, the heck, why not? Let's showcase the appeal of housekeeping for all in the Yashiro commission to see. All right, we gotta do this fast. <laughs> We're going full house husband mode. Go, 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 go. While we're here though, we should water the trees. Mm -hmm. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Pick up the pace. <sighs> the whole Yashiro commission looks as good as new. I mentioned earlier about sewing up your clothes for you, didn't I? Oh. I also want to take this opportunity to teach you how to knit a sweater. That way, you'll be able to make yourself some warm clothes before the winter comes. Thank you. Once in a while, someone takes issue with my background, interests, or the nature of my work. And that's okay. You can't expect everyone in life to see things the way you do. People are always going to talk. It's in their nature, and you can't do much to stop them. That's true. I don't mind what they say about me. What I care about is the well-being of the Kamisato clan. Uh -huh. Now, set yourself a small goal to start with. For example, knit a scarf by the time winter arrives. Scarves are always a great choice. When it's finished, you can either wear it yourself or gift it to a friend. <laughs> Just imagining it warms my heart. Since you're here, you should pick out a special something. We've got some fantastic pieces in at the moment. Like this Noctilucus Jade necklace. Not or this Core Lapis bracelet. Ooh. They may not be top tier in terms of or quality, but the craftsmanship is simply exquisite. Do either of them pique your interest? 
Hmm. I think both suit you very nicely. Thank you, Toma. Ah, to heck with it. How often do we get to do this? We'll take yes, a Yes, let's go. Oh, here it is. Some confectionery from Yume no Tenenan. Huh. A fine purveyor of Inazuma delicacies. Each one costs a small fortune. Oh, boy. I thought this would be the only fitting way to repay someone of your stature. Not to mention that the value of your assistance far outweighs the value of my gift. Do you like it? Huh. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, but you managed to cater to my taste perfectly. Cool. I humbly accept your gift. Keep up the good work in your line of business, and if you have any further problems, feel free to come find me. I will! Thanks again, Toma! With the change of seasons, retail gives me a different feeling each time I come. Hmm, maybe it's not entirely to do with the seasons. Anyway, the main point is... I'm happy to be here with you this time. Aww, wait, that's so sweet. <laughs> I I was looking at the commission and he and he says and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> hmm? Not ready to leave yet? Uh, come to think of it, I do have a couple more places I could take you. I have a gift. Ooh, let's give him a gift. <laughs> oh, there's no need for that. The whole reason I took you out was to thank you for all the help you gave us during the Vision Hunt Decree. As long as you enjoyed yourself, that's all I could ask for. You don't have to give me a gift. I think you'll like it. Really? Okay, well, now I'm excited. Oh, my. It's... Uh, a little something from Mondstadt. <sighs> this really... Oh, I wasn't expecting this. I'm a little lost for words. This gift is invaluable. It didn't really cost anything. Dude, this is so sweet. The Traveler is actually so sweet, too. <laughs> These two together are actually just like a case for diabetes. <laughs> oh, I know, but I don't mean its material value. I'm talking about its value to me specifically. At least take this in return. It's an omomori I always carry with me. Again, nothing expensive. An omomori? But... It can bring the bearer good luck. Seriously, oh. I'm not making that up. My father told me. Aww. He gave it to my mom, and she gave it to me just before I came to Inazuma. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe this Omomori was the only reason I survived the storm and made it to Inazuma in the first place. Whatever the truth of it is, I'd like you to have it. Thanks. Ah, that's so sweet. <laughs> I'm just the housekeeper of the Kamisato clan. Reputation isn't all that important to me. On the contrary, having too good of a reputation can be restrictive. You feel indignant for my sake when you hear people spreading gossip about me, don't you? That says that in your mind, I'm not the kind of person they say I am. For me, that's enough. All I need is for the people I'm close with to know the real me. Uh -huh. Thanks for your help in averting a potential crisis for the Ashiro Commission. I owe you one. I'll have to entertain you again sometime. I didn't do much, ah. honestly. <laughs> Plus, I didn't get very far with entertaining you this time around, so I guess I owe the both of you. <laughs> Oh, I, 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 I scared away the dog. Oh, I'm so sorry. No! I was just trying to get the Sakura flower. Oh my god. <laughs>